The Sonic series is no stranger to dabbling in the field of combat, to varying levels of success. From the button mashing of heroes to discount God of War to watching mini cutscenes, this franchise has somehow never managed to create a combat system I can call truly solid, which is why I'm gonna use ideas from the combat section of my Dream Sonic playstyle video and expand on them while taking ideas from another really cool video game franchise. So, I've made movesets for both Sonic and Shadow, and I'm gonna use the PS5 controller as a reference. So, let's begin with Sonic. First, I'm gonna talk about the basic movement options. Just like in Sonic Frontiers, you have a double jump, and you press the square button to use the homing attack. You hold R2 to use the boost. And when you're near a wall, the boost allows you to use parkour. The L2 button is used to spin dash when you're underground, and it activates the bounce when you're in the air. To drift, you hold the spin dash button while you're boosting and use the left stick to move around. And last but not least, you press the triangle button when around rings to lightspeed dash. So now that we've gotten our basic movement out the way, let's talk about the actual combat. As I've said before, when you press the square button after jumping, you can homing attack. Pressing it again after a homing attack starts a combo chain. Pressing the button four times makes a basic combo. But pressing the button, then pausing for a brief second before your next button press activates delayed combos, and this can help you inflict more damage on your enemy. Now let's start getting into more complex stuff like STYLE SWITCHING Just like the wacky woohoo pizza man himself, I would add the ability for you to switch between different styles while in combat and traversal. When you press one of the four D-pad buttons, that's the style that you're currently using. And to use that style's abilities, you have to press the circle button. These four styles are high speed, taunt, block slash parry, and dodge. Switching to high speed and pressing circle while in the air is going to allow you to drop dash. And holding the button while on the ground is going to create a mini vortex which can launch enemies in the air. When you select the block slash parry style, you can block and deflect enemy attacks. When you hold down the button, you block the attack. But the trade-off is that you lose 10 rings. But when you time the button press to the exact moment an enemy is about to attack, you deflect their attack and stagger them. Since this game would have a style rank system, perfectly timing your button press to when the enemy attacks is going to increase your rank. Speaking of style rank, that's where the taunt style comes in. So the taunt style is used to taunt enemies to increase your style rank a bit. But it has a cooldown so you can't just spam it. And while traversing through the open world, Pressing the taunt button after you interact with a spring or a dash ramp activates the trick system. And the dodge style is simply used for dodging enemy attacks. Just like the block and parry style, when you perfectly time your dodge to the moment the enemy's about to hit you, it increases your style rank. Something else I've added is the light speed attack. Sonic has a bar that fills up the more you attack enemies. And when you fill up that bar, you press the triangle button to activate your light speed state. The light speed state functions like Devil Trigger. It makes you faster, stronger, and more resistant to enemy attacks. So that means that blocking makes you lose 5 rings instead of 10. That's basically all I've got for the style mechanics. I've also added an ability for Sonic to drop kick enemies when you press the square button while boosting. This is actually something Nero can do in DMC4 and 5 when you press the taunt button while running at full speed. And when an enemy gets to low health, Instead of dropkicking them, Sonic is actually going to surf on them. I got this idea from Spider-Man Web of Shadows. So uh, yeah, that's basically everything I've got for Sonic's moveset. So now let's move on to Shadow. Shadow's overall movement is basically the same as Sonic. He can double jump, homing attack, he's got delayed combos, he can boost, spin dash, and all that stuff. But this is where I start differentiating the two. Instead of using styles, Shadow makes use of his chaos abilities. These are utilized by pressing the D-pad buttons and... Wait a sec. Huh. Must have been the wind or something. And just like Sonic, Shadow's got four of these. Chaos Control is Shadow's equivalent to Sonic's dodge. 
but it works differently compared to Sonic. Instead of moving out of the way of the enemy's attacks, Shadow actually warps away for a split second, and while he's disappeared, the player's hitbox is turned off. So if you can time the button press just right, you'll be able to dodge the attack perfectly without even moving from your location, kinda like Dante's air trick. Second, we got Chaos Spear. Chaos Spear basically works like Virgil's summon swords. They're just there to provide chip damage and extend combos if you're not close to an enemy. But something cool you can do is to use one Chaos Spear to tag an enemy from far away, and then switch to Chaos Control to teleport straight towards that enemy. But if you still want Chaos Spear to do more damage, you can actually charge the attack by holding the Style button. And when you release the button, it does way more damage than a regular Chaos Spear. This is actually inspired by Nero's Blue Rose Revolver. The next one is a Chaos ability I made myself, Chaos Blade. It's just a goddamn sword made of Chaos Energy because why not? I think swords are cool. This basically adds an extra set of melee moves that Shadow can do. That means that you can intertwine your sword slashes with your punches and kicks within a combo. And this last ability might be the most important one for Shadow. So Shadow actually has a bar just like Sonic. This bar only fills up when you use Chaos abilities. And the Chaos ability that fills up the bar the quickest is Chaos Refrain. This is basically Shadow's version of Sonic's block and parry. When you block an enemy's attack without parrying, not only do you lose 10 rings, but you also lose 5% of Chaos energy in the bar. But when you perfectly parry the attack, it fills up 20% of the Chaos bar. And when that Chaos bar is full, absolute hell breaks loose. So yeah, that's basically how I would make a combat system for both Sonic and Shadow. Now remember, this is just a concept video, so I'm not sure if any of this would actually work in a video game setting. I just wanted to talk about Sonic and Devil May Cry because I love these two franchises very much. So yeah, thank you for watching this video and have an awesome rest of your day. Bye.